What's going on? We're back here with the Walking Dead. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're back here with the Walking Dead right now. We're going to go episode 2, Starved for Help. As you see here, I have two different storylines. I got one, this one I have saved Doug, and this one I saved Carly. So pretty much, I wanted to mix and match my episodes where... You know, like, oh, well, you know, every different walkthrough, oh, I can be with this one, I can play as, you know, have Carly in it or have Doug in it. But, I guess we'll go ahead and just do the one I've started for this walkthrough intentionally. So, we already completed... Yeah, it's fucking light. Sorry about that, but I can't see without it. So, uh, we already did a new day. Now we're on to this one, episode two. Let's jump in. Maybe I should turn off the light over here. Then you won't be able to see this stupid fucking light in my damn background. As you can see, it's my arm going, ooh. Could sit in front of it. Okay, 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 fuck it. Hang on, I'll turn the light off. Hopefully I don't get too creeped out by the zombies jumping out. Yeah, it's me sitting on my creaky bed. Alright, so now there's no light, so that's better. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Please don't fall a lot in this All by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Kick his ass, man. <laughs> give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Mm. I think this series adapts to the choices you make, the story is tailored by how you play it. Telltale Games presents... An association with Skybound Entertainment. <laughs> three months later? Oh, it's three months into the game. Uh, okay. It's another redneck zombie. A walker. I guess this is after, like, Rick out of the house. Who's that? Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <laughs> That's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Who the hell's this guy? Yeah, you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Hmm. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. Mark? Hello, Mark. Mark. Hungry. Where no did you come from? When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Hmm. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Willie's handling rations. Nothing knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running.
He's got a wife and son to look out for. Hmm. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. It's because I'm black. He's in a racist asshole. He thinks I'm a danger to the group. Aww. I'm Clementine. Damn it, I, I should have said the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Asshole. God, I hope he dies soon. I fucking hate this. I hate him so goddamn much. Ooh. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, he's gonna kill it. It's like... It's a long shot. I need to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. You missed it, you dumbass. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oh, great. Let's go. Oh, Kenny, no. They're gonna kill Kenny, you bastard. No. They're pretty good if this is for not a disc type of game. Well, who, who are these people? Oh yes! Oh, he's stuck in a bear trap. Jesus Christ! Oh shit! No, no! Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave. I swear. Leak, you guys okay? Get, get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis, maybe they can help. Uh. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh, hey, this is fucked up. We've got to help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. we got to get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you got to hurry. Hurry, please, hurry! Oh, come on! Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. What? Who the fuck makes those? Oh, no. Oh, my God. How many zombies can there be in the fucking force? Never, never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Uh... Oh, ho, oh, oh. oh, I had to chop his fucking leg off. No, no, no! Try to this trap again! Dude, you are going to die. I have to get you out by cutting your fucking leg off. I gotta do a saw method. I have to do the saw method. Oh, this is fucked up, dude. It has to be now! Oh my god, how many fucking times does it take? Oh, you're out. Well, you can, they can eat his foot. That's a good meal. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Dude! Run, get off! Oh. Dipshit. It's like you just looked at it and then fell backwards. They should really 
You burn trophy going hungry. All right. They should really migrate this guy into the series. Uh, Lee. But you gotta wonder if they're gonna ever add a... Um... Oh my god, what's that guy's name from the comic? Tyrese. I wonder if he'll be in there. She's like Dale sitting on the uh, RV. Just watching. Stop with the fucking soccer ball. Asshole. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come on! Oh God! What happened? Oh my God! Hell on the case! We have time to explain. Please. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We it's have to God, focus on our it's group the godly thing right to... here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Yes. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out there. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey. I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't want to be on the one side. I, I don't see side. any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah, go away, Don Vito. God damn. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Fine. I'll give it to the people who deserve it, you bitch. <laughs> Only have. I got a piece of jerky too with those fucking cracker cheese things and another half an apple. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like, what? <laughs> Shit, I don't know who to give food to. I got cra two things I think. I got two crackers, uh, looks like some beef jerky I had. And half an apple? Well, we, get, we gotta give the kids food. That's the most important. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? 
I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Uh, we'll give him the... We'll give him some crackers. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Gotta give the kid food. That's, that's, that's what's important. I guess we'll talk to Kenny. Kenny, my man! How you doing? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I don't know. I'd rather stick with Kenny, because I think he has the better spirit. Should I give him some food? Want something to eat? Here, Here you. Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. You're welcome. I like Kenny. I hate Carl. I hate, uh... What's her face? How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. You know, go fuck yourself. How about that, huh? I guess the people who fucking deserve it. You want some food? Here, I'll take the apple shove it down your goddamn throat. Here. Here, here's the apple. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Keep it for yourself. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. She didn't want the fucking I know crap. I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Well, okay. Well, I guess we'll talk. <laughs> I don't know. No, I already talked to Kenny. What the heck? I want to talk to Carly. There we go. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Share the well, fucking crackers! Well, if I wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though the guy can be a real dick sometimes. I'm not fucking On the other him. hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you. If he decides to take off in that RV one day. Exactly, I'd rather stick with fucking Kenny. You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do. But whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back in a bit. I'd rather fucking feed his family. I, I don't know. I don't even know who this guy even is. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Yeah, really. I had to do with the saw method. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you did what you needed. Okay, I gotta stop sniffing. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you ben saved Paul. is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when...
everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> I gotta keep, keep the, I'm gonna keep the kids fed because they need the fucking strength. They're kids for God's sake. Kids come first. That's just how it works. Not such an easy job, is it? You kidding me? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Jesus. I'm staying away from Larry. He's such a fucking asshole. Is he gonna be okay? When are we gonna give him to kill his ass? Can you give me a hand real quick? <laughs> sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. But Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. <laughs> is it the dumpsters? Eh, nah, fuck it. There's fucking dumpsters. I gotta go talk to these two I didn't feed, so they're probably gonna be raging really PO'd at me. Oh well. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. I think your daughter, you Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh, shut up, you cocksucker. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Capture can save him. <sighs> Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Dude, are you conservative? You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I gotta give the axe to one of them. Huh. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, punch you in the face. I don't care what it is. But you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. <sighs> God. Ken, Lee, come here, please. Is he dead? He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. <laughs> God damn it. I was right. I'm getting sick of this shit. 
Yeah, we can come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But he just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, yeah. At least he's not. You got fucking big ass veins in your legs, so of course chopping it off, you're gonna lose a shit ton of blood. Oh, oh my god. Whoa. I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of hitting him in the head until he fucking... Get him off my fucking... Come on, Larry! Oh, shit. Oh, that was just a fucking good thing to do. Dude! <laughs> fucking Christ. It took you people long enough to fucking save my ass. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Yeah, thanks for the action. You clearly can't swing, dipshit. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, it's airborne too. It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I, I guess so. I don't know. I, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know we're never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in the gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, oh. lady, relax. Who are these two? Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look at we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Dairy? What? Okay. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Hey, come on, Mark. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Bin came with us? Okay, interesting. I don't it's nice know. to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Hell yeah. You think they'd want me for this? Sure. I think I'd be a better leader. Well, not everyone. In real life, I'd be a pretty so fucking good leader. So. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? I shot him in the face. I don't know. 
It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. I'm not sure everyone would see it. Though. Not real. Not really. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed get up shit. Get a living. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Oh, Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor. Andy, you know? I'll remember that. Who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love nope. to get you all out to the you deck. You like answered I said, honestly. we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mom's been running a dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but... Now it's. You getting... think you're gonna cut me out of this? What the? Shut it down. What is that? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always poking this shit. Bandits. Who? Oh, bandits. Them. Those look like the people who oh, raided man. my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fuck you. You knew we were hungry. And you guys will keep it up. There's only two. Oh no. There's yeah, you know what? More we ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. Move on. Fuck you! Oh! Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you. Jesus! What a waste! Asshole! Fear the living. Out here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. They didn't shoot him in the head, so he's gonna come back as a fucking walker. Wait, if you had a gun, why didn't you get it? Oh, this is nice. They have a fucking barn Saint too. John family dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. <laughs> they wired them out. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. They got a barn, so something isn't going to be good. Wait. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh, my goodness. That place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We brought gasoline. We're awfully hungry. Thanks for having us. We yeah. brought some gasoline okay. on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet, but we can bring her here. And we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, my. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. 
It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here. Can we have again. some ham? Danny, There's why some... don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Eric, go help her, Danny. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along, Eric? Take care of yourself, Lee. Yeah, you See you in a ahead. while. See you guys. How you doing? Uh, we'll, we'll enjoy it. We'll enjoy all the food. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. <laughs> why don't you eat the zombies? It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Mm, you can learn a little good. something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generator well, does... before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. Wait a minute. This place is incredible. It's got food. Yeah. And that fence? Oh, man. That Something fence. about that doesn't if seem good. About this place right, doesn't seem good. This might turn out to be a place I mean, come stay. on. It's too fucking so perfect. To play this. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. And checking the fence exactly. perimeter sounds like a but decent way to get a good but, look at the zombies fences. getting on the fence, how right. the hell is that destroyed? I'll keep the my brain? eyes open, and you find out. Those are fries, it, but I thought you had to destroy it, not fry it. Oh fuck it, who cares? I don't want to touch the fence, so I guess I'll walk around and take a look around. Look at pick, look at the picket fence, really. Pointy. Mmm, <laughs> pointy! Well, but they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out on the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Oh, yes. Yes, it would have. Don't touch the fence. The fence will fry you up. Talk to Andy.